Welcome back, good viewer. This is the Sky Rider. And to begin things off with this episode... For the cold that, good viewer, is what we call a cold shoulder. Never mind your energy rays, you bastards. Ha! That's always a good start, good viewer, when the minions start blasting each other in the back. Back off, Diablo. Don't blast him from that angle. Oops, back off, gentlemen. That's more like it. Taking out the fence and the snowman in one. Okay, Diablo. Uh, take a landing. You remember last time, good viewer, we stopped uh, Nuclear Winter's missiles that he brought forward from the Cuban Missile Crisis? That's better. And Nuclear Winter himself has shown himself, as we see there. And the, an intruder and the Dark Shaman Shaman are engaging him, but so too will Freedom Force. Come at me, bro. Wow! Nice one, Liberty Lad. You actually get off, um... You actually get off a successful firecracker. Still, it is Nuclear Winter, so... I suppose that would make sense. Well, this is just going to be stupid if I... Wow, am I really... Oh, careful. Oh, no, he's he's got the better of us, good viewer. He's shielded himself with his ice shield. That's the thing about Nuclear Winter, good viewer. He has some rather... He has quite a lot of annoying defensive abilities, but he doesn't really have a vast number of offensive abilities to back them up. Like, this... This ice shield, it's more annoying than anything else. Yes. I mean, yes, it only blocks the energy, Earth's fire, radiation, and electricity. That's uh, his ice, um, I can't remember what it's called, it's just the ice whirlwind, which will uh, confuse people if you're... It will, it will blank them uh, if you're not careful, good viewer. That's the one, okay. So... Nuclear Winter is one of those characters who's it's quite dangerous to engage at uh, at too close a range. So, but he's also pretty slow. Oh God, run Diablo! Because just as you were super effective against him, so is he super effective against you. Let's bring things back over here. I'm sure there's a health chemistry around here somewhere. Yes, there is. Okay, we'll power up you, Diablo. Something which I failed to mention in the last episode, you viewer, which you should be careful of, is that um, if the Dark Shaman Shaman fall, then you'll lose prestige as a result. Because uh, they count as allies, and therefore damage. Uh, it, it comes under the damage tab, like if you destroy buildings or the like. Okay, what do you need? See? It seems that these firecrackers really are quite effective against uh, Nuclear Winter. Surprisingly so, it must be said. Let's power it up, Diablo. Attack with Acid Brew as well. It's a rather, rather a fairly nice damaging ability. He's down! You did it, team! myself grow weak since our last encounter. With Time Master's power, I have learned to channel the very essence of the Ice Age into my body. I have come to know a kind of gold that men never dreamed of. Look upon me, Freedom Force, and tremble. Stars and bars! Well, this is a turn up for the books, good viewer. Here we have the Glacial Giant. A very nasty uh, little character, if ever there was one. Well, not so little. <laughs> um, that's an attack you need to be careful of, good viewer. His conal uh, enlarged enemy from the eastern block. His conal cold attack. And again, the barrel disappears when I pick it up. Damn you, cutscene. Um, he's like every sort of good uh, giant, good viewer. He's... He's a very sort of slow, powerful character, uh, and much like Mr. Mechanical and Time Master of old. Hey, oh, he must have stepped on a stepped on a barrel. That's what. Uh, that's the random damage he took there, good viewer. Um, sorry. Uh, just uh, got a bit of a 
uh, lag there with Fraps again. Um, yes, he's he's um, he's slow. He's he's very powerful. Um, and so yes, so in that sense, it's not a good idea to engage him with your melee characters. Diablo will be your main blaster for this one. This is similar to his cold shield ability you just saw, good viewer, this massive tornado cyclone cold thing. It's very annoying because it... <laughs> all the ice puns. Uh, those never get cold. But um, um, Yeah, that big shield, it blocks pretty much everything. So you can't... Or it'll rather deflect everything, so you can't hit him with direct attacks. However, good viewer, I find a good trick to dealing with this is the following. Don't go for the direct attack. Simply go for the slightly indirect attack. So don't aim for him, because as you can see, the Dark Shaman Shaman's attacks are being reflected back. Are being deflected, sorry, not reflected. Um, don't get backed into a corner and go under. Yeah, see, deflect, crushing, piercing, energy, fire, electric, uh, acid, and cold. So, pretty much everything you hear us. Oh shit. Diablo, get over here. We're having... The Dark Shaman Shaman are getting attacked. Yes, if you blast them with Inferno, good viewer. Like that, which does a hell of a lot of damage, as you can see, because the Glacial Giant has quite a lot of... Uh, um... Oh, crap. Has a lot of HP at his disposal. Uh... So just in case you can't get around the back of him, because the attacks don't really work from the back, but, um... Oh dear, Liberty Lad's not doing well. But if you just don't hit him directly, you'll be fine. Oh, hang on. Diablo, grab that energy canister. Yes, thank you, Dark Shaman Shaman. That's all very nice and useful in the sense that it isn't. I would rather like to commentate Dark Shaman Shaman. Uh, but if you keep doing this, then I'm not going to be able to. More damage. That's the way to deal with the Glacial Giant good viewer. Just have Diablo blast him from the back. Or, um, alternatively, drop Infernos near him, but not actually on him, because he can't deflect those attacks. The bigger they are. Arf, is it possible that one such as I am defeated by one such as you? Cheer up, Nuki. Maybe next time you'll get to destroy the world. The important thing is to never give up. Red October, have you now seen the error of your ways? Perhaps we could work together to... Do not flatter yourself, Minute Man. This was marriage of convenience. But you and I will always be enemies. And one day, I shall destroy you and your people and lead the Motherland to glorious conquest! Freedom Force, you've done the world a great favor today. Nuclear Winter is in custody, and Time Master's body is once again in my control. Next time, maybe y'all could be a bit more careful when it comes to keeping those super bad guys under lock and key. Ignore my colorful friend. Freedom Force is here to serve our country, whenever and wherever. Godspeed, Freedom Force. Look at them go. So sure of their purpose, so proud of their place in the world. Well, my friends, your world is about to change. <laughs> What's this? Charles Wilson? He's... He's... What? Charles Wilson is bad? My mind is blown, good viewer. <laughs> okay, sorry, can't keep up the charade anymore. <laughs> I... The thing about... You can tell, like, the, the sort of the brilliance of the sort of just tongue-in-cheek nature, cliched nature of this game. Um, and I used... I know I say cliche a lot about this game, I use it as a as a, an a term of affection, not as a bad thing. 
The second that I saw Charles Wilson's face, I knew that he was some kind of villain. Look at the moustache, good viewer. I'm going to try and put up a picture on screen now. Look at the moustache. He's meant to be Hitler. He's just a reskinned version of, well, that uh, that will be seen, good viewer. <laughs> um, ooh, we lost three Dark Shaman Shaman. That's not good. Uh, minus 30 uh, prestige uh, each, which isn't good. Um, but fortunately, we didn't lose all of them. Because, of course, because, again, that's the annoying thing. Even if you get over 999, you'll still only get 999, and then the, the, um, the damage is, is taken away. Uh, that's when it's deducted. So you can't even, like, get over, get 989 minus, get 1089 minus 90 and be left with 999. No, it's 909, unfortunately. Which is a bit of a bitch. I don't, I don't like the way that works, but oh well. Um, yes, let's see who leveled up. Uh, Alchemist, El Diablo, Mentor, Minuteman, Tombstone, and the Ant, because he got his XP canister. We love the Ant. Okay, good viewer. Uh, enough of my spoilering this game. Let's see what Charles Wilson has planned for us now. Fly away! Fly away, fools! You think you have saved your world, but in fact, you have been the midwives to its destruction. Well, that wasn't so hard. You know, we haven't had a good rough up like that in too long. Your good spirits are confusing, my friend. Surely you realize that the Earth stood only hours ago on the brink of destruction. Brink, smink, don't know about you, spaceman, but El Diablo says it's time to celebrate. I'll alert the female community. Uh, what, is what is it, old friend? Time out of joint. This disturbance cannot understand. Atom, atom. This is Bort Blitzkrieg. Your craft is not in the Reich's registry. Is that German? Something terrible has happened. Something. Turn this craft around at once. We have to get out. We've got incoming missiles. Diablo? I'm on it. Madre de Dios, those jets, they've got German markings on them. Must hit second missile. But even El Diablo cannot stop the malevolent missile. It strikes a mortal blow to the Freedom Flyer. With the greatest of difficulty, Minuteman manages to land the crippled craft. By the flying flag of freedom, we must have gone off course. No, Minute Man. We are in the right place. We must get back to the Freedom Fortress. Somehow, history has been altered. And through the help of our mega computers, I might be able to determine what has happened. Blick heraus! Achtung, Gipse! You will die! Wait a minute. What happened to Pedro's city? What's going on here? Fort Blitzkrieg is Patriot City, Diablo. The reality we once knew is gone, and in its place are the foulest dreams of the Third Reich. Dun 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 dun. Sorry, I shouldn't ruin that that cutscene with that sort of dramatic chord. That would just be a bit too far on the cliche scale. Fort Blitzkrieg is Patriot City Diablo. The reality we once knew is gone, and in its place are the foulest dreams of the Third Reich. Uh, gotta love Mentor. <laughs> With the help of our mega computers. <laughs> also, I like how in the cutscene is that Diablo is first shown outside the Freedom Flyer shooting down the German planes, and then suddenly the thing gets hit, and suddenly he's back in there. <clears throat> Array for repeated use of animation. Uh, but anyway, um, yes, it appears that Charles Wilson was not what he was, was not what he appeared to be. Super special awesome plot twist! <laughs> like, I knew straight away that Charles Wilson was some sort of villain, because you, you just need to look at his face. You can tell he's, he's a reskin, and you can tell, just, just look at the moustache, he looks like Hitler. He looks exactly like Hitler. I, I, I failed to see how they couldn't pick up on that, but oh well. He is a bozo who's the deputy director of the CIA! How dare you! No, wait. Uh, after all. 
Still, we see here the spinning disk of uh, the mega computers. Um, and yes, I think some explanation is in order before we leave the viewer. So, we'll train up our heroes. Alchemists. Uh, let's get a loft. A loft is very useful. Uh, upgrade. Yeah, why not? Let's get f uh, the full power of a loft. Very useful. It's an area attack that throws everything up in the air. Useful uh, to get rid of uh, to get rid of surrounding enemies. Diablo. Our friend Diablo, who is excuse me, good viewer, who is leveled up again. Uh, Bump some points into Flaming Fist. Uh, fire it up, potentially. Um, we'll get actually now into Swift Punch. Some more into Ignition. Yeah, that'll do for the moment. Um, mentor. What are we getting for Mentor? Unbeliever? Could do. Um, electron Beam! Let's upgrade that. Why not? Kinetic Barrier. We don't have enough for. Um... Mental barrier we can improve to get potentially get cortical suppression, which was, of course, uh, a much earlier ability for mentor in the last game, um, but now it's his it's his, it's right up there as the the top tier ability for him, because uh, he didn't have disorientation in the last game, which is similar to cortical suppression, but disorientation only affects one foe instead of many. So that's uh, I believe I may have misexplained that earlier on. Uh, in an earlier episode. So let's put another few points into Mental Barrier. Uh, fully upgrade. Electron Beam! Why not? Actually, no. To four, because that way next time we can buy Cortical Suppression. Minuteman. Uh, more whacking for Minuteman. Ooh, 300 percenter. That's useful. Uh, Eternal Vigilance. That's uh, useful. Very cheap to upgrade as well. Uh, it's, it's similar to National Guard, um, but it's a passive defense. Uh, instead, in that it reflects bullets. And we leave Minuteman there with one CP. The Ant. Uh, we could get Nimble, potentially, which improves his... Nimble is, uh, it, like, gives an additional three points to Agility, so it makes them much better at dodging, but they lose a little bit of health. 10% uh, HP, which, depending on the hero, may or may not be worth it. Um, let's see... Uh, let's put a few points into Acid Bomb, and we'll save up for Pincer Punch, because Pincer Punch is a very nice ability. Very handy double punch attack. Very nice indeed. Tombstone! Uh, we haven't upgraded Tombstone in a while. Um, save up for Dead Reckoning, and that might be a good idea. Yeah, let's save up for Dead Reckoning. And put a point each into Phantom Punch and Spectre Shots. Uh, because with the additional 600, we'll still have enough for Dead Reckoning next time. Excellent, okay. Um, and on that note, good viewer, we will see, with the help of the mega computers, not the super computers, mind you, but the mega computers, which are back at the Freedom Fortress, which are all the more powerful because I'm Mentor, an alien from a different world. Okay, sorry, I'll stop doing the Mentor voice now. <laughs> I just can't help myself, good viewer. I'm in one of those funny moods. Maybe it's uh, 2013 that's having this effect on me. But let's have a look and see what has happened to us. Ay, Maria, what do we do now? We've got Nazis for neighbors. The thought of Patriot City under the control of those jackbooted thugs is too much to bear. We have to do something. What could be taking Mentor so long? Relax, bug boy. Egghead is trying to integrate his psyche into the temporal stream. That's not something you do over your lunch hour. I smell the stench of evil and corruption. Things are not how they should be. Someone has toyed with the will of fate herself. Tombstone is more right than he knows. The time stream is out of joint. We are currently existing on a counterfeit time spoke. Someone has used an unnatural power to change our very past. Do you think that Wilson somehow used Time Master? I would suspect he was somehow involved. The spoke originates 20 years ago during World War II. Somebody must have used Time Master to return to that time and provide the Third Reich with Energy X. That would explain all the flying Nazi supermen. 
Using those powers, the Germans must have won the war and taken control of the world, including Patriot City. But there is good news. And what's that, sugar? There's a sale on extra-large German helmets? Because the changes in the time stream have their origins in Energy X, I can use my powers to manipulate them. You mean... Yes. I can send members of Freedom Force back through time to find out whoever caused this and stop them before it's too late. Too late? But it's already happened. Not 20 years ago it hadn't. Ay ay ay. Can we go back to beating up bank robbers? You were the one who was complaining earlier, um, Diablo. <laughs> um, ooh. That's a point, good viewer. I really should have gone back and recruited someone, shouldn't I? Uh, because it's always a better idea to recruit someone if you can. Because I had about 7,000 prestige. It's always a good idea to recruit someone if you can. Because, of course, they'll level up uh, slowly from the moment you recruit them, even if they don't go on missions. So, I will go back and do that off-screen and say who I bought next time. So, for this mission... Who do I want for this mission... Um, we have Tombstone. We will also take on Green Genie. Green Genie will be useful. Uh, and gives us a chance to show her off. We have Tombstone, we have Green Genie. Who do we want? We have Eve. Eve is a, a returning hero. Our resident archer. Uh, the nature-loving, uh, nature-loving Eve. Um... Could take her along. Um, I'm just trying to think, because I, I know that there's very specific abilities that I'll need. Could take Alchemist. Alchemist might be useful. Now let's take Eve. Let's show her off. Yes, we have we have what we need, good viewer. Don't worry, we have we have what we need with with this one. Uh, but good viewer. We will show off uh, what exactly it is that we need and how we will use it in the next episode when we j will journey back through time with Tombstone, Green Genie and Eve and start the second section of the game back in na Nazi Germany and see what it is exactly that has been changed by the infamous Charles Wilson. But on that note, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Skyrider. Farewell until we meet again.